I did want to just tell you something that was remarkable that happened to me. I think it was the last time I was up here in Masmoka. Um, I got a chance to really see how some people work behind the scenes, and I was so impressed. And I had um, one of the fabulous interns here drove me back down to Albany, to the train station there. And it was a really dark and uh, it was a really dark and cloudy, stormy, stormy morning, very gray and very everything seemed really pensive. And this young woman had a chance to talk to me about her relationship with art. And she, I think I was feeling a little circumspect about a lot of things sometimes. As an artist, you get very uh, insulated and insular and feel kind of weird about things and you know, self-deprecating. Wait, wait. We're in a museum. <laughs> We're in an art museum. She's talking about art. Whatever. It's OK, seriously. There's going to be footnotes. Just pay attention. Oh, it's so pretentious. It is not pretentious. It's not pretentious at all. It's actually act very hard, heartfelt. Anyway, as she was driving me down the mountain, I, um, she told me that her relationship to art was that as she is able to work with a lot of different people and actually make art happen, it's one of the most gratifying things in the world. She doesn't consider herself as an artist specifically, but she said when she's working and she's able to produce something and just in the little tiniest bit help, then it's so cathartic for her because when she had a really bad experience in her life, she saw a piece of art and she was able to really break down and feel for a long time some things that were locked in and locked up. And I thought that the talk that we had going down the mountain was one of the bravest things and it was one of the most heroic things for someone to be able to tell an artist. And I would like to, on behalf of Betty, dedicate this next song, which is called Hercules, to everyone that facilitates art to make a cathartic experience for us all so that you can reinvent yourself a little bit, stand a little straighter, maybe stand up for someone who can't stand up for themselves and feel a little bit better. I will too. Hear, hear. Thank you. 